The Oklahoma Sooners wake up today with another member of their recruiting class, and this is a really important addition, and we have got to break it all down because four-star offensive lineman Jacob Sexton from Oklahoma has joined the Oklahoma Sooners, and you already know we've got to talk about it. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from y'all. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited that Sexton is now a part of this class? And let me know what you're thinking there. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, because I do constant college football content, and you don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoy that content, be sure to like, comment down below. Those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself. But with all that being said, let's talk about what Sexton adds to the Oklahoma Sooners class, because the six foot five, 285 pound lineman is a top 300 player in the nation hailing from the state of Oklahoma, which already is great news if you're a Sooners fan. The fact that you're able to lock in a top 300 guy from your state, specifically at a position of need, that offensive line. Now, I've talked at length about the Oklahoma Sooners offensive line, how among all the institutions in the nation that you can point to that really do fantastic work along the offensive line, you cannot ignore what it is the Oklahoma Sooners do, especially with offensive line coach Bill Biedenbow. There are a lot of really really solid offensive line coaches in the nation, and Biedenboe is up there with the best of them. I mean, there really is no other way to put that. That's why it's not super shocking when you see a decision like this, but it is awesome to see the Oklahoma Sooners being able to lock in an in-state talent in Sexton, because he was looking elsewhere. The likes of the Alabama Crimson Tide were getting a look, the likes of Texas A&M, so for Lincoln Riley and staff to be able to keep him a part of this class is great news for the Oklahoma Sooners, and will ultimately help the class. Now, currently, Oklahoma sits outside the top 10 per 24-7 sports, but this is a result of a glitch. I don't think the Oklahoma Sooners are going to be sitting outside the top 10 for very long, and something interesting I noticed when I was actually looking at the rankings holistically for 24-7 sports, that there are only three teams right now within the top 20 that are garnering that ranking with less than double-digit commits. And in order, it's the Oklahoma Sooners, the USC Trojans, and the Alabama Crimson Tide, which shows, though these three teams may not have the numbers of these other teams within the top 20, it is the average ranking of the recruit in the class that is carrying those three teams. Each of these three teams having a phenomenal class when you look at the talent currently in the class. Oklahoma will have Luther Burden back to a five-star in no time. Him not being a five-star is only a result of a glitch on 24-7 sports. That will be resolved in no time. Oklahoma will be back into that top 10 status. I have no doubt about that. But the Oklahoma Sooners have got to love this, and this is a huge commitment, especially when you look at the class and you see that you have two top-tier running backs in Relique Brown and Gavin Sawchuk, and then you want to add in as much depth to that offensive line as possible. You look at your future. You have Malik Kai Nelson, who looks to be a Sooner lean, and at the very least, the Sooners will continue to pursue him for the next year. That's going to be a developing story. That kid is head-spinningly talented, but even if you look at the current state of the Sooners, you have Caleb Williams, who looks to be the heir apparent to Spencer Rattler, and you want to do everything you can to keep Caleb Williams protected. A guy like Jacob Sexton, a guy like Demetrius Hunter, the two offensive linemen that the Oklahoma Sooners currently have in this class, are instrumental to be able to afford Williams, Sawchuck, Brown, that protection that they need to be able to go out and do what it is Lincoln Riley's scheme is, which is to just hurt people on the offensive side of the ball. I can't wait to see how this goes. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about the Oklahoma Sooners picking up four-star offensive lineman Jacob Sexton. The top 300 player joining the Sooners class has got to be awesome news to Sooners fans, and I really can't wait to hear what y'all are thinking because this is a big addition and looks to help the Sooners carry on in adding more top-level offensive talent, which is already something the Sooners didn't need help doing. Let me know what y'all are thinking. That's it. See ya.